Earlier this week, we talked with Lauren Johnson of Victoria. She's spending her senior year of high school in Osaka, Japan through the Rotary's um, student exchange program. Um, she wants to reassure everybody that she's fine. She's in Osaka, which is in the southern part of Japan. Um, she, at the time that we talked to her, was pretty adamant about staying in Japan. Um, she feels that being in the southern part in Osaka, uh, they're pretty safe from the radiation at this point. Um, but here's some um, video and some audio clips from the interview that we had with her via Skype today, um, earlier this week, and also some photographs that she um, sent to us. Yeah, uh, Sendai and Tokyo are about, with train, about one hour away, so with car, that's about four hours, I think, but um, I've been hearing the same thing, too. But the radiation level right now um, is very, very low, mm -hmm. so it's, um, the radiation level is lower than that of an x-ray. Okay. Um, that's what I'm hearing from Japan's side, but then from America's side, I'm hearing that it's a lot higher, so... Yeah. Lauren, so can you tell me how you knew there was an earthquake? What, where were you, and what time of day was it? Okay, um, this is actually like kind of embarrassing. I was actually taking a nap, and it was about 3 p.m., mm -hmm. and my mother came into the living room and woke me up and said, there is an earthquake in northern Japan. And at that moment, I was saying, oh, Okay, because in Japan there's so many earthquakes that you're not able to tell which one is bad and which one's really bad or which one's okay. So at that point I was kind of just really calm about it and my family was calm about it. Um, and then after that I turned, we, um, turned on the news and we just started hearing more and more about it. And after the big earthquake there were more aftershocks and those aftershocks were about the same um, strength as the first one. So everybody in Japan started to know at that point, it's not, something's not right. 